start with this engraving operation for this flat engraving. Uh, I'll send you this file so you can look through here and see how I had it all set up. But you'll get this flat engraving operation. And then we'll go in and let's make, um, I'll put it on screen so you can see it. Let's make a new layer, call it, you know, wrap numbers. And then we will use monster manipulations and we'll smash this toolpath. Let's go ahead and suppress this toolpath and you see you get the geometry, the toolpath. Let's get rid of all these entry moves. We don't need them here. Uh, grab the geometry created from the toolpath and we will auto chain all these. So we get these new features here. All right? Okay. And then on these features, we will create a wrap contouring operation. Uh, use the ball mill. We'll wrap it to the diameter of the part. How deep you want to cut it. Uh, tolerance. Keep this nice and tight. Uh, your lead ends are going to be straight in and straight down. Notice I use a distance of zero. And we click OK. So now it's going to wrap this around your part. And let's take a look at it here. Alright, stock's a little bigger than the part, so you know it's cutting a little deep in relationship to the stock, but that's what you get.